Team Barry. UK Open semi-finally. Big things happening for you right now. Yeah, it's going well at the minute anyway. Thank God, yeah, it's going, it's, uh, it's coming along nicely. All right, good on the dartboard, but here at Barnsley Metrodome, how good are you at arcade games? <sighs> Don't know, we'll have to see. Let's find <laughs> out. Right, OK, here we go. So we're doing this together, yeah, OK? Right, go. Right, what was it like playing the biggest game of your life? Game after game after game in my life. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, it, it was an experience, all right, but I think it's one of them where you just kind of, I just took it as it comes. You just kind of went with a, every, every, every kind of, every game was just, each game as it comes. I wasn't really thinking about it, just, just keeping the concentration on winning the games. But I saw you afterwards, you were absolutely devastated, right? Yeah, it, it was the more the way I lost, I think. Just, cause I, I went 6-2 six, six, up. I feel like I should have went 8-2 up at the break. And then I just, Michael turned it on to a different level. I just couldn't find what I was finding in the first, say, eight legs. I just couldn't get get going. I, I was more 60 tons compared to what I was thrown beforehand. So it was just more frustration than, than anything else, really. Don't miss. <laughs> second shot, second go. <laughs> hit, don't hit the minions. Right. Don't, yeah, good, I like it. Have your targets changed for the year after that weekend in Minehead? Has that completely changed your career? I wanted to be top 48 now, but now I think I'm nearly there, so it's just kind of maybe just pushing on into, into the top top 32 now is, is, the only, is the only one I can really think of. You're set for a spot at the match play. There could be places at you know, World Grand Prix or, or who knows, and I'm sure you'll be targeting the European Championship and the Players' Championship final. Just keep trying to trying to get them kind of runs into the, into the latter stages of the Players' Championship and obviously with qualifying for the European Tour, they're massive. So uh, it's, it's, I think it's really nice playing away in, in the likes of Europe, but you can play anywhere. I think it's just, it's really nice. Well, look, I'll not uh, shatter their illusions by telling <laughs> about your rubbish score on that. <laughs> right, hit start. All players must aim at the same... Like you, you've not really had a normal chance. You're not, you're not normal in many respects, are you? Are you you're a vegetarian, teetotaling dart player who yeah. is multilingual. I, I, th I think, I think a lot of people find that one strange, to be honest. That I'm a vegetarian, but I just, I don't know. I just doesn't need to get be. Oh, oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. Oh, That's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> great time for Irish darts at the minute. Obviously, Willie had a great weekend at the UK Open. Steve Len is playing some great stuff as well. Yeah, it's great. Like, it's very big. Like, it's in a really good place at the minute. Even, even players that's playing on the Challenge Tour, Development Tour. It's all, it seems to be all happening for Irish darts at the minute. Well, today, Keen, you are number one at the Weird Hippo Water Game. Well done. Let's never speak of it again. Cheers.